Who seeks recognition? For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas seek recognition? Move to strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized. Well, now that we've been liberal explained, the narrative about what is actually going on by this administration, on September, let's talk about the facts. Let's, not, let's talk about what's not made up, as the gentleman was just a, alleging about being made up. On September 29th, 2021, the National School Boards Association sent a letter to President Biden equating concerned parents voicing their opinion at school board meetings as domestic terrorists and urging the administration to exercise its authorities under the Patriot Act. News reports indicate that the NSBA coordinated with the White House and engaged for weeks leading up to this. Weeks leading up to this, that the NSBA coordinated with the White House this very specific allegation. We have, on October 4th, 2021, five days after the NSBA letter, the NSBA letter, the National School Board Association letter, by the way, which references specific examples, one of which is Scott Smith from Loudoun County, Virginia. One of which is Scott Smith from Loudoun County, Virginia. That is in the NSBA letter, which again we know to be factually true that there had been coordination between the NSBA and the White House as emails evidence. The timeline suggests that the NSBA sent the letter on September 29th and on October 4th, Attorney General Merrick Garland issued a memorandum that directed the FBI and U.S. Attorney's offices to address a purported disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, and threats of violence at school board meetings. Let's talk about Scott Smith for a minute. Talk about all these things that are supposedly made up, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle allege. The National School Board Association sent this letter to the president. One of them, and in Virginia, an individual was arrested. Another man was ticketed for trespassing. And that being Scott Smith, why was this man so angry? This being an AEI article depicting exactly what occurred that fall. Why, the, why was this man so angry? It was because his ninth grade daughter had allegedly been sexually assaulted in a school bathroom by a gender fluid skirt wearing boy. Now, that has now been adjudicated. And in fact, she was assaulted. And this father was angry. Now let's go forward. There are so many layers to this. The father in question, Scott Smith, on May 28, 2021, received a call asking him to come to the school because his daughter had been in a, quote, physical altercation. The school insisted they would handle the situation in-house. Police officers took this incident seriously. The school board then held a meeting to adopt a policy permitting bathroom access based on gender identity. Smith and his wife attended to voice their concerns. At that school board meeting, a school board member painted concerns about sexual assault as bigoted paranoia. After this exchange, Smith was approached and allegedly berated by a woman named Jackie Schwarm, a frequent poster in a Facebook group, anti-racist parents of Loudoun County, a group that compiled a watch list with names, addresses, and employment information of parents who opposed woke school policies. Smith told the Daily Wire he tried to explain what happened to his daughter, that she was raped. And she looked me dead in the eyes and says, that's not what happened. Smith further said that she noticed the name of his plumbing company on his shirt and said, oh, I'm going to ruin your business on social media, she said. This is what my colleague from Rhode Island says is made up. That's what my colleagues on the other side of the aisle say are made up. Sensing the situation could turn ugly, the police officers intervened. Days after the story was published, it received significant coverage on media websites, Fox News, National Review, The Washington Examiner, Daily Caller. Contrast to Google search shows no coverage from CNN, NPR, Politico, ABC, NBC, CBS, or Education Week. The Washington Post reported that Loudoun parents were upset by revelations that the same assailant went on to allegedly sexually assault another girl at the school he was transferred to, which in fact happened. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle simply do not care. And they're perfectly fine empowering the Federal Bureau of Investigation to do what is demonstrably true, which is create threat tags in direct response to the National School Board Association, which by the way, 
some 30 state, uh, state school board associations have distanced themselves from and removed themselves from. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. I recognize myself in, in support of the amendment.